Officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Fernando Velarde. Second referee, Mr. Erlindo Eusebio. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Team captain with jersey number seven, their guest player from the USA, Lindsay Stalzer. At number one, Ale Mao. We're in jersey number two, Abigail Marano. At number nine, Kim Fajardo. Number 11, Kim Tiana D. And at number 16, Ivy T. Laxina. Libero, number four, Victonara Gala. Head coach, Mr. Benson Bokbok. Calling on our Chocomucho Flying Titans. Team captain with jersey number 14, Isabel Beatriz de Leon. At number two, Desiree Renea Cheng. In jersey number five, guest player from Azerbaijan, Odina Alieva. At number 10, Katrina May Tolentino. And number 12, Jamenea Ferrer. Number 22, Cherry Rose Luna. Libero, number 13, Denise Michelle Lazaro Revilla. Head coach, Mr. Oliver Alan Almagro. This is match number six, preliminary round. May the best team win. And we are back here at the Field Sports Arena, our main game, and there's a starting lineup for F2. There's Lindsay Stalzer, Noreen. She is back and ready to start the game. Yeah, and you can see Agagalang still playing the libero role for, for F2, but Abby Marano is in the starting six. What a trooper. She played libero uh, last time. But here is the starting lineup for F2, and Jeff Ferrer is the starting center. Well, you know, Coach Oliver, he has a game plan up his sleeves. He has tricks up his sleeves, so he's going to change things up at least at the start of this match. That's right. We did see her in action in the first game out also. So, talaga naman nagkahalihin yan sila ni Dino Wong. So, it's just uh, not, we're not used to seeing her start, but that's the way this game is going to go. And we are off. First point. We may score by GDL. You know, that's one thing. Choco Mucho needs to activate. We always say the middles. You know, you get the middles involved, and that's good for Bede Leon because you need her puck in today's game. Oh, we feel everybody pumped today. Actually, boy, by the crowd, too. We know that the players respond to the atmosphere in the arena. Yeah. Nice dig there by Cheng. Single block. Ivy Laxina showing off her wares. The D. Stalzer is dug. And Odi coming from the back. She likes to hit from uh, behind the attack line. Well, she'll hit from wherever she gets, she gets it. in. <laughs> Another point for Joko Mucho there. We're starting with long rallies already, just in the second sequence here. That's a great rally, you know, again, if that's any indication of how long this match may <laughs> go, you know, we're in for we're in for hours here. Nobody's complaining. Yeah, we're not. Fajardo with a quick set, responded by Ivy. You know, Ivy Latina, as we all know, of course, is new to the BBL, coming from her stint in NU, but she plays like she's been around. She's been with F2. Parang yung gelling nila ang bilis ng yara. Yeah, I totally agree. But you have to also think that she came from a champion team. So she has championship experience Absolutely. to go with her rookiness. <laughs> Look at that. What had been said there. And the crowd is loving Choco Mucho's two point lead. Of course, F2 Logistics just right behind them. Alexis Tinsai has uh, some. Uh, stories for us from the sidelines. Go, Alexis. The league 
does not end with the first game. That's what fan favorite cargo mover Kiana D shared to me with response to the unfortunate events against Cherifigo last Tuesday. KKD with nine points last game and a 36% spiking efficiency goes both tough and optimistic, deeming how their game serves them a reminder to not play that way ever again. Crucially adjusting in our mga lahat ng errors na give away para makuha ang kalaban ng momentum. Happy with the new additions to Team KKD appreciates the expansion of culture from the LaSalle Corps to different university perspectives from Ateneo Zirvasho and Yusai Vinaxina and JRU Shala Alvarez. Let's go back to set one to see who will outsaw the other team. Thanks so much, Alexis. You bring up a good point. This is, if you will, a little bit of our Ateneo versus LaSalle scenario here, if you will. Of course, that's what it feels like. Uh, we're talking about, you know, alam naman ang lahat ng F2 is like a chorus, like a, yeah, LaSalle is a leader team. Predominantly. And predominantly, of course, sprinkled with a little USD. <laughs> and uh, uh, Choco Mucho, anyway, sprinkled with uh, some USD also. And LaSalle. And LaSalle, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> we got Des Cheng there. Lei Mao. She has not scored yet. Cheng going up. Good score. Big. This defense coming from both teams, but that one, Swoop. Welcome into the PBL, Lindsay Stalzer from the pipe. One more time on that. Look at that. Just so fast, it happens so fast. Hindi po hindi naabutan ng mga blockers. Ang alis have been good. They have been good. Chocomucho maintaining a three-point lead here as Ivy Daxina gets ready to serve. Oh, good serve. It is. Good reception from Ordea Lleva. Ivy showing off her defense as well. Lei Mao is blocked. Lei Mao going up again. And the blockers of Chocomucho are there. Oh, Jerry Munak is on to F2. And this is going to be a chance for F2. Back set with that slide. Nasagot. But not good enough. Yeah, that was yeah. Abby. Looks like Abby Moranio was misplaying uh, uh, offense here. She was all defense in that last game playing libero. And that classic slide we go. Exactly. Classic vintage Abby Moranio. I mean, I'm sure her fans are so excited to see her. They're not in the libero jersey yeah. in this game. And she's going to be huge in terms of leadership also for this team. But you know, you gotta hand it to her. Somebody who just takes whatever role is given yeah. to her. That is leadership, and yes. that is just commitment to the game. Yeah. Aha! Let's check. Scoring point number six for Choco Mucho. Yeah. Playing it smart, just off speed. Look at that roll behind the blockers. That's what she brings to, to Choco Mucha, really. Like we said in the play game, consistency. She's just, like I said, she's always in a good place. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet operator, not too showy, right? Yeah. But you know, maasahan, very reliable. Yes. Salser makes do. And Jennifer pushes it with that reverse. Oh. Muna is dug. And the D going up. And she gets that kill. Oh, she finds a hole, a gap in the blockers. So good. Of course, we highlighted Diana D uh, from her performance on their first time out here mm -hmm. against uh, Cherry Tigo. And you know how, because we didn't see them in action for a couple of conferences. Yeah. And now we're getting reminded of the intensity that F2 Logistics brings into their games, into these. Uh, Matchups. Yeah, and that was just a smart hit because obviously the blockers were slow and she found that hole. But what about Luna? Well, she, she's saying, I can do that. <laughs> I can, but you gotta give it to Jem Ferrer. Great setting there, blockers slow to close. You know, they're seeing a lot more now. And this is after we were watching the VNM and the ABC, these shoot sets, the quick sets. Yeah. Parang we're seeing it more and more. Hindi na masyado nakikita yung mga wide outside sets. The slow set. Oh, yeah, oh. you're right, you're right. May Mao. Oof, dog. And then Lazaro Revilla. Oh, good dig. 
Alieva decides to just send it over. Fajardo will go to Leymao on the other side. Again, she insists on going to Leymao. I don't know if that was the best idea at that point. And Choco Mucho is capitalizing on the errors that we see on the side of F2. Technical timeout with Choco Mucho up by four. There's a crowd enjoying live action here at the Phil Sports for our second game tonight. First one, very exciting too, won by Creamline. Yeah. That was their debut performance and they get a W. Meantime, the F2 fans are so happy to be back. <laughs> and with Lindsay Stalzer. Yeah. And, you know, they get to watch Lindsay Stalzer once again. <laughs> oh, and we natin yung mga yellow yes. sa, ano, di ba, sa stand. Of course, it's all purple and yellow. Ubet lang kanga sa di ba, na tayo. Lichiza. Lichiza. <laughs> Uy, masarap din yun. Puto naman yun. <laughs> yung isa ice cream. Chikiro Puno with Noringo just enjoying this game as much as I'm sure all of you are at home. Choco Mucho with a four-point lead. They have been leading consistently in this first set. Well, they've been defending very well. We have to give it to that. You know, they're ready for the attack of F2 Logistics. F2's really got a for me, improve on their passing here. We saw if they go to combination plays, they are, they are successful. Mm -hmm. And Lei Mao getting ready to serve here. Jan Ferrer with that back set. Error by Cherry Muna hitting the ball into the net. And that's the other story. We see Jan Ferrer starting at center this time around. Of course, Nina Wong stands watching closely. She knows she's going to get her turn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's a sorry, oppor you know, missed opportunity for Choco Mucho. Obviously, no, not that comfortable with that set. But I'll never like that one. Just yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that's her first kill for this match, and it's nine to six. So that, uh, you know, that's gonna build throughout this match. <laughs> When we look at this rotation, this is where Choco Mucho will be tested. Jem Ferrer manning, like I said, Lindsay stalls her and she will have an A day, uh, you know, going through the smaller blocker. Six foot one, you know, she's 38 years old, you'll never guess it. Look at her. She's so, yeah, look at that uh, elevation, just the way she goes up there. Like, she hasn't changed throughout the years she's been coming to the Philippines. Babalik balik, and yeah. Yeah. Parang Justin Brown, she's yung parang sa aviation, yeah. babalik balik. But so glad to see her back on the court. And she still has to, I guess, get that coordination with uh, Ivy Lancina and uh, Stalser. They want to be uh, forced at the double block. But so far, well, we have time. It's early. Yeah. And Catalentino, we want to mention her because she has been normally the first option of Choco Mucho, as we can saw an ace there. But in that last game, not a lot of points, so if she gets it, she should get more sets today. Mm. She should actually contribute more. Temporary with the first service ace. But what about this? I mean, this six for Coach Oliver. You know, you're putting in Jem Ferrer, and she's playing really well today. Like you said, trying everything out. It, it's good to have a deep bench like that. Yeah. Kait uh, kait mo. I mean, we know what. Dina Wong can bring to the table. But it's good to have a gem for her as well because she's tried to test it. Yeah, and once upon a time, best setter in the UAP. So she's made a name for herself. No! Alieva is hot. Of course, we expect just as much from uh, these guest players. She towers over the rest of the, the pack here. Very, very tall, Alieva. Six footer. Yeah, 
Okay, so you just take time to pass because we have many hitters. Okay, okay. just take time, pass. Okay, if you're out, there are other spikers already. Okay, let's okay. focus on that pass. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Let's let's on this one. F2. Coach Betson Bokbok needing to call a timeout there also maybe to disrupt the flow that's happening on the side of the white shirts. You feel that they are, uh, at least at the Chocomucho side, well, they are falling into a nice, uh, you know, rhythm and yeah. flow. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a good timeout trying to remind the girls of passing. Mm -hmm. Passing needs to be on point. And that's a service error point for F2 Logistics. Point for Coach Benson. Good time out, Coach. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maddie and I were talking about her earlier. Glad to see her suited up. Madzilla. 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 And I love the video that uh, Boom Gonzalez, yeah. our colleague here, shared everyone, how she, how she works to make sure that she's back in fighting form. That ACL injuries are no joke. And I think she's had two already. Yeah. And, and you know, therapy is very important for longevity of one's career. Great dig there by Revilla. Oh, somebody's called with double hit. Yeah, but I saw her reaction. She's so frustrated. If she could have that ball back, she's going to set better. Talking about Jem Ferrer. Yeah. Ball back to F2, 9 serving 12. They're not going to be to Choco Mucho. Choco Mucho has led uh, throughout in this first set. Well, they're just down by three. They're still pretty much in this match. Yeah, absolutely. Now yes. by two. Uh -huh. Things happen so quickly. So that's what Choco Mucho wants to do now. We need to lamang, And we have a timeout called by Coach O. Chocomucho, although they have been the leader all throughout this first set. And it's Ami Eva who salts her there. <laughs> and we know who won that sequence. And I saw after she was uh, sitting on the floor after that hit, she gave a two thumbs up. <laughs> Physical and memory. <laughs> two thumbs up. Respeto lang. Yeah. Concern. Back set. Oh! back to and she's uh, getting her rhythm. That's a nice reverse set. Unexpected there. No blockers. That's a great set. A one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, pretty late one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, yeah, Stalzer gets that. And then he's getting it off the block. Yeah, you know that's a good matchup. You know? And this thing was a great matchup. We talked about the two of them in the pregame. Yeah. And, yeah, and then they're going to be crucial really today. Ito rin, maganda rin sa Salser and uh, Alieva matchup. Oh, yeah. They keep going at each other. Of course. There. There. <laughs> <laughs> nice reception there by Odi Alieva. Back set. Looking Whoa. for Odi from the pipe. Spike down. <laughs> So far, good things happening for Choco Mucho with Jeff Ferrer in the driver's seat. Now, you know, in that previous match, you know, when they lost that, that game straight sets, a lot of people are saying, ah, crucial errors of uh, Lieva down the, the stretch. But, you know, you have to give it to them. It's the first game, and look how she's performing right now. Oh, oh wow. Oh. This girl, KKD. 
So smart. So smart. That's classic Kiana Debris. One more time. She knew exactly where the hole was going to be. There was no way the defender was going to get to that ball. And she did it with so much finesse. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Smiled for the camera, I think. 13-14, now just a point deficit for F2. Ivy Laxina. Good nice serve. serve. Better reception, though. Kat Valentino sending it over. Ivy will set up. Nice back set. Oh, oh but look at that receive, or that dig by Revilla. Ah! <laughs> How about that? Oh, my goodness. Adiyama can do no wrong. Oh, wait. What's her IQ? <laughs> What's her volleyball IQ? You're a genius volleyball IQ. Yeah. We got Nina Wong coming back or coming into the court for the first time today. And the crowd goes wild! And the crowd goes wild. 15 13, Chocomucha still with a two point lead. And we got Kat Valentino, you're right. She's been a little quiet. Yeah. See, Kat. She's so, been adjusting to the sets. So that's what we're seeing. Lei Mao just pushing the ball over as well. This is the maturity that we're seeing on both the sides of the court from Lei Mao and earlier with Oti when you just choose for the most, uh, the, the, the offense that makes the most sense. Yeah, it does. And so far, actually, both teams reading their opponent's defense, the drops are the ones scoring. That makes the sense points. now. Oh, oh. Efficiency lang talaga. Yeah. BKD. Nice reception there by Odi. That's Cheng. Oh, still alive. Some That's football your action. That's Absolutely. Your <laughs> Lei Mao showing off her football wares. And with a rally. Cheng oh. is set up. And she scores off the block. So efficient, so consistent, this Cheng. 16 14 is a score. Chokoku just up by two on the second technical time. Out. We'll be back. Pasqua just uh, taking in the action, and I think everybody who's here is so happy to be here. We got a lot of coaches, <laughs> a lot of uh, yung mga nagsa scout. They're just really enjoying it. They're mga pin fans. <laughs> oh, oh nga. They, they, you know they're allowed to be fans from mga time to time. Coach Rod. <laughs> yeah, and sa nandito na in center stage. They're feeling so proud. You know these coaches. They've seen these girls from their um, many of these girls from their college days, and now just. Superstars. We talk about superstars. We know what this girl can shine. This dancer is finding the rhythm. Yeah. And she's looking really comfortable there, that pipe attack. So that adds really to the options of F2 logistics. If she's in the front, she's in the back, she is a threat. 15 16. Alieva has been such a consistent uh, receiver. Yeah. Very good defense as well. That's Kat Valentino. We talked about her and you know how important her, her role is. She used to be the first option, oh, sure. right, without the foreign guest there in Alieva. But now, you know, she has that separate role and be yeah. ready every time she gets a set. And we know what this opposite spider can do. Really talented. And of course, she has that height advantage. She's yeah. the, one of the tallest locals. Of course, Jerry Huna also has the height advantage. All told, parang mas matakad ng konti ang Choco Mojo. Lay Mao asking for a check. Don't think she's gonna get it. And Choco Mucho just refuses to give up the lead. No, the Lumalapet F2 Logistics threatening the lead, but they managed to just stretch it out yeah. and, and keep it at least uh, three to four points. 
And when Elaine Casillas in now for Lei Mao, Coach Bok Bok asking probably her to, to rest and oh, to think uh, about. Settle down? Yeah. yeah. And that's another point for Choco Pucho. Did you give that ball your lucky touch? Yeah, I mean, it feels good to actually <laughs> hold the volleyball after a long time. Eh, kung makita ninyo kung saan napunta po yung bola, yan sinalo po ni Noreen Bro. Hindi ko alam kung parang kanino sa swerte yun yan. But so far, it doesn't look like Choco Mucho needs that uh, added luck there. Keeping a nice steady lead here. Despite all of the uh, offense that Lindsay Salzer is giving them. Well, you can see it now for him to the logistics. The sets are high and slow. You know, they're trying to slow the tempo of this match. So let's see if that's going to work for them. Javi Marano with the serve. Oh, the serve. Wow, just loving it. Look at that. She is back. Talagang na miss niya. Libero, you cannot hit, you cannot serve. Boy, yeah. he served there. By Abby Marano, just targeting her former teammate in this chain. You know, Abby Marano, even though on paper she is not the captain, we know the kind of leadership that she brings to any team she, uh, she belongs in. Yeah. Even the national team, she is such a force. And when you see her, it's automatic. You know? It's oh, captain, my captain. Yes. Right? Ito mga na naman. Mucho now uh, getting closer and closer to the 25 point mark. And you know, for, for Choco Mucho, you have to be happy with what you're seeing. They're, they're playing very deliberate volleyball. Yeah. They're thinking about what they're supposed to do and not, you know, how they're not in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. Substitution. We have a substitution. Jeff Ferrer will come back in. And the crowd <laughs> appreciating their favorite here. Jeff Ferrer, pretty steady for F2. Well, she did, did have an ace early oh, on. Oh, yes. Ooh. Great defense by Ben Ben. And that's what you want. I'm sure as a libero, you're happy about that. You have to have to go to the Because I'm going to put those teammates. So you have to credit have that point in the reveal. Yeah. We yeah. have a timeout. Forward, okay, and then put up the ball. Okay, come on, 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 this off, she was the one who scored first for Choco Mucho. It was a little bit quiet for the middle of the game, and now she is just making it easier for uh, Choco Mucho to win this first uh, set. Yeah, well, the sets are possible because you know the floor defense of Choco Mucho is really, really on point. Oh, oh wow! She is showing off every facet of her game. Alieva now with that solo block. Boy, you gotta see it again, one on one. The imports going at yeah. each other. It's a nice sideline, no? Like import to import. Eh. 22 17, comfortable lead for Choco Mucho. You know they want this win. I'll be jinxing. <laughs> that also happened last time she was on the service line. Well, you know, if you're you have two logistics right now, look at your front row. You have a full front row, a tall front row. You got to take advantage of this, get a couple of couple of stuff blocks, and try to make a set out of this. Or a service ace. Or a, that's <laughs> No, the fans won't complain with a service ace. That's a great one. Far there. Quick point. Don Makandili must be. You know, I feel for these players who are probably pining to get on that court, no? Lalo na pag mainit yung laban na ganito. Siya, well, she is okay to play, uh, I heard. Actually, I talked to her, and then she said she'll play the next next game. Oh, that's, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Catalentino wants this win. Now, that that is classic Catalentino for you. Great set by Jeff Ferrer. Look at that. Look at that. 
all in the past. Very unexpected. Or it really got the blockers a little bit spread out. Mm, yeah. So in the Kulang Independence Don and now Jokomucho just looking for two points to win this first set. It matters who wins the first set. Ah. That kind of gets you going. Yeah, I, I, I think it does. Um, but for F2, you kind of feel that they can't seem to get a rhythm going, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they try to, some uh, flashes of brilliance from time to time, but yeah. they have to play consistently. Especially right now, Chokomucha is playing pretty good. And nice combination attack there, but well read by F2. Look at BDL, just does not want the ball to go over. It's going to be a free ball. F2 will set up a quick. Maybe Latina is dug by Jen Ferrer there. Chen going up. Oh! She just knows how to get past that block on F2. Boy, that's Cheng. She's the reliable Des Cheng. And woke up at the right side of the bed today. <laughs> Things are so ha happen so fast that F2 could not keep up. Kennedy put up the block, but obviously late. And this is set point. And Coach O brings in Pauline Gaston for Des Cheng. So, go figure. Set point. A few of them actually. DDL to that serve. Real far to go to. Lei Mao is back on the court. Jen Ferrer, you don't know what she's up to. She does that. Confuses the enemy. Is there a touch? Catalentino seems to think that there, there is. No, I think they call it out. Okay, F2 still alive. And we've seen how things have gone. The other day, puro habulan yun ang yare, di ba? That was a F2 was the one uh, ahead in that first set against Cherry. Yes. Pero nakahabulan Cherry. Let's see. Have a timeout. Okay, look, look. Whatever happens, look. They will go. They will go to 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 the encounter. No, we are receiving. If it's possible to be in the middle, to be here, no problem. But stay in the union. In the union, Jack. Jack, in the union, we are in the middle. 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 Hey, Kalei. Okay, Kalei. Hey, he will go here. Interesting how Coach O is not calling plays. He is calling out the opponent's positions. Nasan si Lei, nasan si Kiana. That's the way he is um, trying to teach the girls and tell them what to do. Yeah, talking about their tendencies and you know possible options there. I mean, it's good because you're going to defend first, so it's good to know this. And Des Chang is coming right back on the court here. Still set point for Choco Mucho. But F2 Logistics has the serve. They are down by three. Pressure. Pressure. For Ivy Latina, but she's been there, been there, done that. Part of a champion. Good serve. Oh, good serve. This is going to be a, should be an easy one. And a nice dig by Ivy. And that one is outside. For Seth, given up by F2 on that error on the attack. 25-21, the final score, and great stuff we're seeing from both sides, actually. Yeah, I mean, it was a great set, good rallies, but someone's got to prevail, right? Yes. So, Chokomucha does. We're looking at teams who are coming off losses, both hungry for a W, and Chokomucha gets that first set. We'll be back.
Bawal po ang live streaming. Again, we are requesting our audience here at the Full Sports Arena to refrain from live streaming today's match. If you get caught, you will be escorted. And there is the story on the first set, 25-21, big win by Choco Mucho. What did you think of that first set? You know, the start of the set when Coach Oliver decided to use Jim Ferrer, everyone was like, whoa, I mean, although we know Jim Ferrer, you know, the caliber of setter that she is, and she really has caught this Choco Mucho team. You have to give it her. That was a great decision by Coach Oliver. Everybody contributed. You know, Bea De Leon, Catalan Tino, Des Cheng, Alieva. It's a total team effort, and what you like, what Jem brought, is really hot, hot, steady, and steady. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We feel that. On the other side, we see, like you said, bursts of brilliance, but it has to be more consistent, yes. like you said. No? Yeah, well, let's look at some numbers there in terms of attacks. It's Choco Mucho. Well, 17 to 12. Blocking and the aces will negate each other, even the opponent's airs. It's a pre pretty decent set, mm -hmm. just six and five. So, yeah. you know, a lot of, that's why we said a lot of good rallies, and we're expecting more good rallies here in the second set. But the, the challenge really is to F2 logistics, because Chocomocha is in a good place. F2 logistics, they have to communicate, they have to get their game going, because you want to win this too, you know, at least tie this match. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we want to say that Lei Mao was not much of a factor in that mm. first set because uh, she was actually taken out and she contributed maybe uh, a couple of points. Uh, we can check that, but it was really... Um, she, she has yet to show up today. And let's see what happens and what gives here in the second set. We, we talked to her at the pregame, if you all were able to join us. Joining us late, we did have that interview with Lei Mao and she is just full of energy and so happy that this girl, uh, let's say, stalls her is on the court. They, she calls her my, my girl, my buddy. They are <laughs> friends off the court. So there is that, that gelling that doesn't need to happen anymore because they know each other well. Yeah, but what I feel really for F2, the level, you know, you're expecting the level of energy to be high uh, because they mouse all pumped up. You know, you have Lindsay Stolzer, you have Abby Marani. But somehow in the first set, you can feel that they couldn't sustain that mm. that level of energy. It's like it's been going up and down, up and down. If they can sustain yeah. that level, you know, they're gonna look a lot better on board. And sometimes we see that you need maybe a, a one set yeah. to get a feel for what things are like and then adjust accordingly. Yes. So far, six points by Lindsay Stalter of F2. And look at Mao, but oh. Oh, wow, just then the Nervilia, she knows exactly where to be. Yeah. She's been getting a lot of good uh, digs and a lot of good saves there. Yeah, she's been reading the hits of F2 logistics, although that was an over overpass, and uh, Ivy Luxina just makes yeah. two. Uh -huh. She accepts the gift. Pero yung mga ganun, yung talagang mahawak mo, hindi, hindi ka ma, na maputo mo eh, di ba? It's really is something to, to be said about uh, Revilla just really knowing where to be. Yeah, agree. And she has really improved throughout her stints in the PBL. And Tolentino, it's her day today. <laughs> it is. I mean, these are, you know, she's what the fans really came out to see as well. You know, Kat Tolentino playing her A game. Already five points for Kat. Only Alieva is scoring more than her, as expected. Of course, that's what we expect of the imports. But Catalandino is having a breakout game. She is. And that's why Jem Ferrer keeps going to her. But great defense we saw from F2. And look at Des Chang. Yeah, miscue there between uh, Fajardo and D. She had a stop. You know, she had her approach, but yet she had a stop. Look at this. Yeah. But we have to give it to Des Chang because she was already there. Yeah, she knew exactly where to be too. And again, off system here. Nervilia will put it up. Des Cheng will make two. And she gets it past the two-man block. Ball still good. Lei Mao just sends it over. And it looks like Bea de Leon is wobbling a little bit. We're going to check that out as... Choco Mucho scores. See, we're looking at uh, BDL. She, parang meron siyang piniin da, no? Yeah, but she had a collision, I think, with Jem Ferrer. Ah, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see her wobbling a little bit there. But, but she's still on the court. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. 
she's an Amazon. Oh, she, uh, she's a trooper. A super trooper. Eight points so far for Odina Olieva. She scored 25? Yeah, 26. Uh, 26 in that last one. But really, props to her and her defense. Yes. That's what's working also for Choco Mucho. Defense par excellence. And look at that. Leah De Leon scores again. It helps that she is so tall. She got a, just, just that tip to get a point. And early timeout for F2. They will defend. They will attack. We just have to defend also. Yeah. Okay? So make sure yung mga tira. Hindi ko pwede yung nag-aalangan. Pati the defense. The defense, watch out or call it. Call it. You can, you can, you can touch those balls. Okay, Kaiwa. Okay? You guys, Come we worked so hard on the pipe yesterday that we're a little anxious when she's about to hit. Watch when she adjusts. She's not gonna hit it if she can't yes. get the... Be intentional, guys. Up go! And we have a quick report from the sidelines. Alexis Dinsai, what do you got? Flying tight end and the go-to of Choco Mucho, Kat Tolentino is really excited about this reinforced conference because number one, they are stronger. Number two, they are healthier. And number three, they are complete. And with Coach O's intact system still being identical to the one last season, it's that Odina Alieva just gave them more strength, support, and confidence that they will break through the eliminations with Mike Ortiz and Maddie Madaig around. There's so much to look forward to and now all they have to do is to maximize their strengths and finish off the sets just like in set one more volleyball action this set two thanks so much alexis my uh, grab yung health uh, uh, scare or yung yung uh, dinaanan ng f2 in the past conference mm -hmm. all of these health issues have really brought them down it's so nice to see everybody back on the board and just uh, seeing them intact like alexis mm -hmm. said well it's something everybody actually do have had to deal with, not just F2, True. remember Signal and then the Spikers turn the uh, and a couple as well. So, you know, we really have to live with it. We just have to say that. End of story. <laughs> so glad we have uh, live volleyball action again. Yeah. And I'm sure all of you at home enjoying the action as well. Chiki Roa Puno here with Noreen Go, Alexis Tinsai, the complete our broadcast team, and that drop. That's that point by Fajardo. For you, look at this. First wow. time we see her with a one-two, and that's how you want to do it. You don't want to do it so often mm. that the opponents come to expect it. But then, you know, if she does it, you know, not not a lot, not often, but if she does it more, that could be a, a threat as well. So blockers may, you know, go for her. And the free up the manure, you know, yeah. free up the manure leaders. Yeah, you want to keep them guessing. There. Great showing by Choco Mucho. Talaga making something out of nothing. It was an almost dead ball. Pinati Jeff Ferrer. Pinatay ni Jerry Nuna. Yeah, that is the attitude really of Choco Mucho so far in this match. Jeff Ferrer doing a spectacular job in setting. And again, as they did in the first set, Choco Mucho taking an early lead. Good serve. They have not allowed F2 to lead in this match so far, despite the power that uh, Litsy Stalter is showing. Well, they really have to take advantage of this rotation. I said earlier in the first set, which they got a point or so, because they should milk Lindsay Stalter, yeah. right, in this rotation. Chance going up. Ball still good. Stalzer put that one up, and she's going up for the hit, and again! There you go! Ang bilis kasi nang dating ng palo niya. Parang yung pitik niya. More time on that Stalzer attack. Yeah, you can see, it was Jim Ferrer manning the net. So again, that's a great set by Kim Fajardo. Good serve. Mm -hmm. Oh, Valentina just scoring however way. Now getting past that two-man block. But you don't see Ivy Chelsea. This is Stalzer. Yeah, she just put enough power 
enough spin. Look at that. And then the blockers were on their way down. That's really just a smart hit. Like like that. Ano, yeah. Kasi alam niya, if I hit it hard, it's going to bounce right back to one court because the blockers are in the right position. Yeah. So let me wait for the blockers to be on their way down. Mm -hmm. Thoughts are going oh. up again. Oh, oh that's a dog by Rodilla. Libero showing off both courts, both sides. Alieva sends it over. Pancake save by Stalter. And I don't think that's going to fly. It doesn't look like our referees are going to honor that. Yeah, but Stalter was so sure she, it was a good ball. If we can see that in the replay. Referee Fernando Velarde says no. Chocomucho gets that point. 8-5 is the score. We'll be back. Phil Sports Arena. This is our second game for today. Let's take a look at that last controversial sequence there. Ah, okay, after that uh, replay, what do you think, uh, Noreen? Sang ayon kabas ng tawag ng ating first referee? Yeah, I think it was a good call. It looked like it touched the floor already before any part of the hand. So it was a good call. Let's leave it at that. That was a great <laughs> sequence though, that we saw. Yeah. You know, man, it was the liberos going against each other. What about that that drop by Alieva? Really fooling. Oh, oh, and that was too much for Lazaro Rodilla that time. Shadow Malalem Baun. Yeah, but you can sense, you know, that momentum has switched jerseys already. It's in the side of F2, so F2. You gotta keep going to Lindsay Stalzer right now. And she went for that solo block. That one went outside. And still a point for Chocomucho. But yeah, Stalzer is hot. She is piling on the points here for F2. Nine so far. Highest score in the game. And that's the thing. You know, you're right. She's made nine. Everybody else. Uh, just uh, in make, uh, contributing two points, three points here and there, so we must make concerted effort at this uh, juncture. On the other side, naman ang kita natin Alieva already with nine points, and Cantonatino is contributing with her six. BDL has three, Cherry Luna three, so mas magandang spread ng scoring sa Choco Mucho. Yeah, as you were saying that, talking about spreading the wealth, Kiana D with that great drop. We're talking about the momentum that was threatening to shift to the side of F2 Logistics, but Choco Mucho just will not allow it. Well, you know, what's the problem right now with F2 is they can't seem to, to block. They can't seem to stop. You know, that's where Choco Mucho has been so successful. So they have to establish their blockers, get squared up, and try to stop some block. That was it. Speaking of block, nice effort at the single block by BDL. Alieva! Oh, oh great save there by Fajardo! Linaglag ni Kiana D. Alieva again! F2 will regroup. Pele finally scores! Imagine booster confidence talking about Lemao. So far, only three for uh, Kalema or two points for Kali Mao, so she really needs to uh, get with the, the score, contribute to the, the scoring effort here of uh, logistics, F2 logistics. Yeah, and in that slow you can see her wind up was full stretch, full throttle. I mean, we saw earlier her errors because her shoulder was too low. That's good, that's a good sign for F2. And meantime, 
Okomucho only with a one-point lead now. So really, talked about a good sign for F2, and Coach O recognizes that, calls a timeout. Coach O needed to call that time out. And what did you hear? That lead has dwindled to one point. And it's it's more of also again, you know, that reminding the girls who's F2 gonna target. You have to be ready, you have to be ready to, to respond. It seems like they had some plays that involved Bea de Leon. Mm. Probably some that they worked on uh, over the past couple of days that they want to be able to uh, see happen on the court. Maybe something that they practiced with, with Jem Ferrer, for who sure. is playing uh, setter. Yeah, for now sure. For but they need good passing. That's what Coach Oliver said. Maybe Lexina now with a serve. He's doing wonderfully on the debut uh, conference here. As I say that, she <laughs> serves out. Yeah, commentary scores. But look at her, you know, you never guess that she is uh, a rookie here, yeah. you know? Steady. And she looks comfortable. Comfortable, yeah. Playing with the best of them and against the best of them. Perfect pass there. And that's what happens. Oh, wait! Spoke too soon. Chokomucho managed to keep that ball in play. This time, they touched. Unchallenged there. Yeah. She's feeling it right now, which is a good sign. And you're seeing smiles right now from F2 Logistics. That's what that's what you know will build their chemistry really. Ten points already for Stolzer. Already in double digits. And let's see if F2 can tie things up now. Yeah, the dog by KKD. The defense. Another chance to set up here. Chang, got by Stolzer. Ray Mao pushes the ball over, off the blockers, and F2. Yeah. With 11 points. Oh, <laughs> great. Okay, F2 will get that point. We are tied. Yes. First time F2 is able to tie up the score. They haven't done that since we started in the first set. Yeah. Let's see if they finally get a lead. And that was clear, the slow-mo, it was a touch. Good call. Oh, that's a botched play, Fajardo. Going to Abby Marano with that, running it down. We know that one. And the perfect timing for Abby. Finally getting the lead for F2. Well, it's official. Momentum has shifted. Jerseys. <laughs> they're, they're in uh, red and yellow. And smiles all, all around over F2, yeah. And if that is felt, if that, if they allow that uh, mood change to just carry them through, let's see if things change completely for F2 here. No! Alera was <laughs> asked, anong swing, anong moment mo, Chief? Ano ka pinagsasabi nyo? I'm taking it right back. I mean, that's a great set. The fight for Jeff Ferrer and Eva just not going for it. And look at her, look at that intensity yeah. on her, her face and her eyes. Makita mo, kita mo sa mata eh. That's fire, yeah. Fire. Absolutely. Four points out for Bea de Leon. She's at the serve. Good serve. Ah. And that's what Dalter wanted to do is to give it to BDL. Just got them serving. Hindi pa napapalitan ng libero. Yeah, that's great target, really. Not all 
all power, just really directing it, like you said, yeah. De Leo. That was a smart hit. Now, well, now you can see F2 Logistics, they're the ones playing deliberate. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, just like that, Cherry Luna. Gets things uh, tied at 13 again. And again, it's a uh, lay now factor. It's just not there yet for F2. Ah, you can say that, you hear the crowd roar once again. Nina Wong in the house. Back on the court. Lay Mao so far with three points. Abby Marano with four. And Stoltz are already in double digits, as is Alieva with both of them with 11 points. Cherry Luna, that ball saved by Marano. Ooh, over pass. Fajardo will go up for the oh. Are we watching Japan? <laughs> Look at that. Can't be, can't be. Ito mga play ng BNL ng Japan. Fajardo just putting it away on that second ball. <laughs> Look at that reaction by Alieva. <laughs> what just happened? Okay, so Kim Fajardo can do that. That's great. That's great. We saw her with a drop ball on the one two earlier, and she's showing that she can also just give you a hit and score that way as well. Yeah. Well, everything looking good right now for F2. Really, they're playing a lot better. Ooh. Great dig by Abby Marano. That's why she was appointed Libero <laughs> temporarily. Good defense. Alieva! Oh, D let that one go. I think I would say loud. Yeah, clip the line there. Great targeting by Alieva there. Another good set. Look at that. Yeah. And we are. We saw that, and we see, we, we saw in their first uh, outing how Alieva is so, so uh, efficient from behind the attack line. Those pipe attacks, yeah. she's got them down path. So precise. Precise. Oh, that joust won by the smaller Fajardo. <laughs> and we saw Alieva just cross right in front of us, and she couldn't believe what just happened. Again, nakadalawa ka na, sabi niya kay Kim Fajardo. Burst and into a smile there, like, okay, <laughs> good job. Good job, Kim Fajardo. Oh, look at that! Tina Wong! I don't think even her teammates knew what happened. Oh, what a response oh. there coming off the bench. And just perfectly executed. Yung mga ganyan, talagang there was no way Fajardo was gonna get to that ball or the libero or Aragala. Yeah. It was perfectly done. Well, good effort though on the part of F2. But Dina Wong just told Alieva, I got your back. <laughs> and that one is definitely outside. It's a good idea for Choco Mucho to let it sail out. We don't see too many errors from Stalzer, but uh, that's the first. And logistics, F2 logistics, cargo movers down by one. 1615 as a count. We'll be back after this technical timeout. Complete our broadcast team. You saw a glimpse there of Abby Marano and just getting a little bit of a rest. She's been effective back where she belongs. Mm. Yeah, but you know, a lot of there's a lot of talk prior to this game. Or prior to the start of this conference, really both teams. They're saying F2 and Chokumu just treating this conference is 
reinforced conference as their redemption, redemption tournament. Like they want to be the redeemed team. All right. Right? Because F2 wants to bring back their glory and Chokomucho wants to get a podium finish. So, really, I mean, for one of these teams, that road to redemption has to start today. Yeah, but as you know, there's only going to be one winner. And Alieva wants to be it. I was uh, looking at the stats. This is her 12th point, but she took a while to get back on the score sheet here, Alieva. She has been silenced somewhat. Same with Salzer. And you know who has been scoring a lot yeah. as we take a look at Dina Wong here. It's Dina's counterpart. Fajardo has five points already oh, to her wow. name, the setter. <laughs> Well, she's been more aggressive, which is what you want to see. She is an attacking setter, so you have to use that. And she also scored two points off the serve. And the thing's looking much better for F2 in the second set. With Ivy Lexina at the serve. I think this is a crucial part of the second set, especially for F2 because they're down one set to none. The chase. A tough one. Oh, good Dina Wong managed. Fajardo puts it up. Going to Kale Mao. What a save by Dina Wong. Alieva oh. is dug by Ivy Luxina. Oh, and she goes deep again. You know, it's at zone six. Yan ang gustong gustong i target ni Salsa. Somehow she knows na kuputo siya kung dun sa pumunta. Yeah, but what total team effort there for F2. Really good defense. Great set and Stalzer just finds, like you said, that corner. And you know, it's the transition. I think they are transitioning from defense to offense more quickly. Yeah. And that's why they are able to score. And now look at two logistics, cargo movers with a one-point lead. Yeah, quick and tempo. And a wide set to Alieva there, who just thinks it over. What do you do? If you're F2, what do you do? You gotta move faster. <laughs> the cargo. <laughs> You're the cargo movers. <laughs> it's just when she goes up like that, you know, we're just, we're just, uh, just having fun. <laughs> she really just disguised it so well, you know, F2 has been defending well, but they were just caught watching. Caught unawares. Yeah. And we have a substitution here. Isa Molde is coming into the game for the first time. Not yet. Let's see if... Referee Velardo will allow the substitution. Well, it's Coach Benson actually complaining. And we saw a yellow card flash there, a warning. Well, I got confused actually yeah. that Isa Molde was going to come in for Alieva and then she, Coach Oliver just asked him to move back. Move back yeah. to the bench. Anyway. Right, you heard her call for the pipe. But that is dug by Dina Wong. Cheng, dug by Seltzer. D will go on. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the trajectory on that kill by GKD. Yeah, she's just so quick. You can see mm -hmm. Bess Cheng was there to block, but she mm -hmm. saw that gap between the him and Best Cheng, and she just went down the line. That's five points for Kiana D, and she's at the serve. And this is what we're seeing now, more contributions coming from across the board, yeah. from the different uh, players. Because it can't just be a Salzer show, and that's why F2 is looking much better oh. in the second set. Perfect stop there by Kiana D. And EDL setting up oh. Best Cheng. <laughs> Two setters on the court. <laughs> no, but I love her reaction. It's like she's making it up like, what was that? I just <laughs> killed him, you know? That's that reaction. <laughs> Sarcastic reaction. And the crowd having a good time here at the Phil Sports. I'm sure all of you are too back home. It's now tied at 19 apiece. And Fajardo pulling a trick again. No, do not actually kind of ready to kind go up the block, look at this. Yeah, yeah. kind oh, oh. of read it. Natulungan pa ng net. Yeah. Little dribble mm -hmm. off the net. Fajardo, now 
now with her sixth point. How about that? Just here in the second set. Yes. Wow. Chen goes up and with her dig again. This is Chen using her head. As we saw, he did not like she and she motioned that. Take a look at that one more time. She sold yeah. it really well. No, and also because she saw Aliva was successful in previous places, dropping it there. Why not go to it? And obviously, F2 hasn't adjusted their defensive pattern. I know, but that's Cheng knew it. I mean, she put her <laughs> finger to her temple saying, Oh, unutakan ko lang. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and an unfortunate service error by Kat Tolentino. Oh, no, that was an ace. Okay, I take that back. Chocopucho is up by one point. We have a timeout. that the parents of uh, Bea de Leon there watching, always supporting Tokumucho and of course Bea de Leon. Ever since her Ateneo right. uh, days, of course, we have a lot of uh, family members of the different uh, players here and the fans are just all out here with their uh, the cheering everybody on. Yeah, CC Rondina. Also here to enjoy indoor volleyball action. A lot of oh, people are asking now, doesn't yeah. she want to play indoor volleyball? Ah. Right? Well, that would be so enjoyable for everybody. But it's it's nice to hear the stands. It's really, it's great how everybody's come out. I think it was because they missed F2. Yeah. You know, it's nice to see them finally here. And of course, Choco Mucho, we know how they support their team. <laughs> and that's the atmosphere that we are enjoying here at the Phil Sports Arena. And on a good day for me, they are really evenly matched. You know, this could go the distance. And so far, we're seeing a better set from F2 Logistics. Yeah, we were talking about this off the air. I think all the teams are evenly, uh, all the talent is evenly spread out among the three teams competing here in the uh, reinforced conference, which is a great thing for the fans. Yeah. The addition of the foreign foreign players it evens out a lot of teams, right? Because yeah. they try to fill in the gaps of each team, so makes for more exciting volleyball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we saw that uh, last point by Stalter again going deep to zone six and getting things even at 21 here. Oh, oh wow! Look at that. Defense by Revilla. Doug Bear. Oh, decoy. Oh, good day. Look at Maranio. And she didn't have to move. She knew exactly where the ball was going to go. 22-21. F2 Logistics up now by a point. We have a timeout. We are back up now. Again, pwede ka pa rin. Get. Huwag mo siya paiyin. Hindi niya strong unit. Maliit dito si Kap. Si Kap. Kayang-kaya niya yan. High risk, high reward. Get one and strong niya. Hang it now. If you're going to give this to me, dito si Aldina. Okay, meron ka pang desk dyan. First line ka pa. We have an advantage. We have good pass. Do you understand? Let's convert. Just have to believe. We will convert. Let's make this win. Let's go. Let's want it. 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 Of course, Choco Mucho took that first set. So they have a 1-0 advantage as far as the sets go. They don't know. Let this one go. Mahirap na kung magkapantay, di ba? Because uh, F2, like you say, has got their group back. And right now, they are up by a point. And we got Ana Marano getting ready to serve. And I think, yeah, and I think both Oliver is opting to let Dina stay in because they're seeing stalls are in front. Oh, good team. 
Martino going from the back row there. And that was, was it too low or was it mistimed? Oh, I said too low or did she mistime it? I think she's normally used to these sets. I mean, Catalentino and Dino Wong have been playing together for so long. Yeah. So I, I feel also, you know, she hasn't been given a lot of sets, so the timing actually isn't there. So, well, F2 actually has a two-point lead. And Mike Ortiz just stepped into the court here, seeing action for the first time for Choco Mucho today. Yes, Chen. Wow. That was great. Great play there by Dina Wong. It looked like, you know, the, those slides from Aika, 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 uh, Mike Ortiz. And Dina Wong just goes all the way the other side. Gives it to Descheng instead. Yeah, she has so much confidence right now in Descheng. And why not? She has been producing for Choco Mucho. Oh, <laughs> as you say. That's that. unfortunate. <laughs> oh, this time it was really out. Catalentino earlier got an ace, but Descheng just uh, too strong on that serve. Just sent it to the parking lot. No, but nerve setting in on yeah. the And service errors, that happens. Picardo now trying to win the second set for F2. Alieva going out. Oh, oh great take by Ara. Oh. Wow! Just Salter with an exclamation point. Winning it for set number two for F2. 25-22, the final score for this second frame. What a great back and forth. We are high. Yes. <laughs> and we will break this second set down after these. It is now one set apiece. 25-22, the final score on that second set. F2 just made headway and never looked back. Shigeru Okuno here with Maureen Go enjoying the action in the PBL reinforced conference. Set two highlights. What did you like about set two, Maureen? Well, you love the way F2 Logistics brought back that swag that they're known for. You know, they were. We talked about the level of their energy, and it was obviously there. The second set, of course, then they started it all. Great setting by Fajardo, getting her involved, getting her her group, and they never looked back. Even Abby Marano contributed. Everyone contributed. Ten. Well, what about Kim Fajardo? You mentioned how <laughs> oh, many yes, points? Yes, absolutely. Kim Fajardo, our setter, already with six points, and. Uh, after you break down the stats here. It's pretty evident. It's oh. really great offense, you know, converting good digs. Look at that. Just one block, one yeah. ace. And what two opponents airs each. Yeah. Right? So almost flawless for both, huh? For yeah. both sides. It's just great. Yeah, it goes to show the quality of the match good. and the rallies. And yeah. F2 Logistics just out attack. Choco Mucho enough squeeze pass that second set. Kalei Mao is in the second set because you we were saying that she wasn't much of a factor in the first and that's probably why F2 gave that one up. But the, the good thing for F2 is really the scoring has been spread out. Like you mentioned, Abby Marano already with four points. Of course, uh, Kennedy consistent, uh, very dependable. But on the other side, you know, we talk about Des Cheng, Katonatina is playing well too. I mean, that was a very closely contested second set. So, you know, as the, the numbers show you, Chocomucho really 
played great also in that yeah. second set. It was a great set. But one thing F2 Logistics did right mm -hmm. is they looked at the advantage they had over Choco Mucho. They saw when Jem Ferrer was in front, it, you know, as obviously a smaller blo blocker, and they kept going yeah. to Lindsay Stalzer, and that's when they got the momentum. They're ano, making up for lost time because they missed her in the first uh, game. And uh, Stolzer, of course, this is her first game out in in this conference. And everybody's just happy to see her in action. And we are getting ready for the third set. Lei Mao also, we're waiting for her to get on her uh, total Halima mode. <laughs> the Hawaiian, the Hawaiian Halima. Halima mode. Kim Fajardo, we talked about how she has been scoring for her team as well. We see a couple of uh, drops and she scored also on those uh, one-two plays. <laughs> oh, it's a fast lull here, the start of the third set. Uh, just to get everybody to settle down. People are looking at the, the dugout. I wonder why. Maybe uh, Alexis will tell us. Ah, okay. See, Alexis, Oliva. let us know. Yeah. Looks like Alieva had to take a break. She is back on the court. And it looks like uh, things are just about ready to start here. We have a good crowd at the Phil Sports. We're looking at two teams, Noreen, who are looking to score a W yeah. in this uh, Force conference. And both hungry and aside from that, it's really just where they are in terms of wanting to uh, redeem themselves, like you said. Yeah. It's Choco Mucho and F2 just like papakilala ulit because nawala sila. That's true. And, and yeah, coming off a loss, you want to get their win because whoever loses this match will be at the bottom yeah. of the standings and you don't want to be there because it's a single round robin and only four will go to the next round. Oh, it's a good thing you mentioned that too. That's right. Because so far, they've only met each other once. Yes. So, you know, it's just uh, you either win or lose. So, but then you don't want to look. It, it still looks bad when you're in the bottom. You don't want to. You don't want that. And so far, these two teams with losses uh, in straight sets. You know, that's why they're kind of there at the cellar, and that's why they both want the redemption after the day. Well, if you're looking at the way they're playing today, I mean, you wouldn't have thought that they both went down in straight sets. So. You know, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. The pass you lose as long as you try to focus on your succeeding games. Oh, wow, look at that jumper. He's getting a hand on it. That's, uh, she should feel good about that, even if she didn't quite get the point. Stops her with a put away. Well, Jumper in, trying to yeah. get a hand in that. Choco Mucho scored first. They have a one point lead. He's won all in sets with Choco Mucho winning the first one. F2 taking the second. This is set number three. I'm so glad you are with us today. For those of you just uh, joining in on the action, it has been heated, it has been different. That malalapit po ang mga score. A lot of action. And yung mga nakauwi lang galing sa trabaho. This is the best time to wind uh, down, the best uh, way to wind down. This is to enjoy the action here from the Phil Sports Arena. Yeah, but what about Alieva making mincemeat of a <laughs> three-man block there? Not very established, but she just gets the point. The dig. This time, no blockers there. Nina couldn't quite get uh, to her position. And Jay Miles going off the block. That's a point for F2. 2-3 Two, is the count. And Alexis Tinsai has a report for us. Over to you, Alexis. The panel's been talking about Ivy Laxina's steady debut here with the F2 Cargo Movers. I'm glad I got into conversation with her this afternoon as she shared to me that moving into a pro league with a lighthearted team like F2 made her feel so welcome from the very beginning. And that it looks like it was the right choice. One veteran she looks up to the most is Chang Abu Maranya, who not only guides her inside the court, but acts like her own ate, providing her life lessons on how to balance everything and handle the pressure. Kung saan grabe ang tiwala ni Chang kay Ivy, nagagalingan niya this season. Let's see if they can pull out another victory this set three, or will the Chocomocha Flying Titans soar out? Thanks so much, Alexis, as we see Chang Abi. She really inspires not only the players, but the fans as well, all of us. Mm. And ito, si 
Ivy Laxina, also just so impressive. First out in Pride of Pampanga. I'm sure, marami mga kabalin dyan na nanunood. Yeah, I'm sure they're proud of her. Yeah, look at that set by Ivy. And she's gonna set again. <laughs> she puts it up. Kennedy likes that one. Oh, oh Jumper keeps the ball in play. What a save! Great heads up there by Choco Mucho. One more time for Kalei Mao. Easy over. Jumper pushes it back from behind the attack line. She's blocked. Ball still good. And F2 will recycle. Wow! Almost. At least in a bayan, Cherry Luna, the Catalentino. I'm looking at the call. Um, I um, thought I saw the flag go up, so it looks yeah. like F2 will get the point. But because they're, Abby Baran is talking to the first referee trying to clear something, so <laughs> probably a call earlier. I'm not, pretty, I'm not really sure. F2 Logistics with an early lead. This didn't happen in the first two sets. Aha, uh -huh, as we say that. Service error by Ivy Vaccine. And again, can't help talk about this girl's debut. 22 years old. She gave up her uh, two remaining years. Of, uh, two. Two. In, with a new two. Two. She had two more years of eligibility. <laughs> I thought but, on. you know, if you think about the trajectory of these players, you know that they eventually want to get to the pros. Yeah. And if you already have a chance like this, I'm sure she thought about it long and hard. And I don't think anybody's questioning her decision. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to respect that. Oh, respect, Jerry Luna. <laughs> wow, just wow. Yeah, and you like what Jeff's doing. She's trying to go to Luna as much as she can, you know, to change things up, especially with Alieva at the back. So, yeah, Luna has been responding. Yeah, five points already for Cherry. <laughs> The serve. Nice reception there by Stolzer. Ale Mao. Oh, stuff block. Great cover there by Chocomucho. Ooh, that one is good. This time it worked. And look at that. Luna and Jeff Ferrer working together at the block. <laughs> I want to see that. Sheet here. Five foot three with a block. Boy, these setters today. Just all the surprises that they've been pulling. Yeah, no, and just as a quick uh, run through with that slow mo. That's the perfect way if you're a small blocker, uh, you have to open up your block, and she still got the stop block. Perfect timing. And she goes up again. <laughs> At least uh, the blockers are really challenging uh, the offense of F2 Digits. I'm talking about Choco Muchinao. Look at the Take a look at this last play. Play now going up. Ah, that's close. Yeah. It's hard to tell again a yellow card. Seeing being flashed. Number five, the Olieva. A warning at. Well, but yeah, because the entire band, the entire squad of Chocomucho in the court is complaining. They're saying that it's a, it's a ball out thing. But. Left to logistics will serve down by just a point. Keanu D with a serve. Good reception by Odi. And Luna gets dug, but ball will not be kept alive. Good effort there by F2. Yeah, good effort by Anna Gala trying to keep that ball alive. And again, you mentioned it, it's Luna actually yeah. playing well now. She is the option. Jennifer uh, has a connection with her that looks like is working really well. So do I mga taga Pampanga kanina? We mentioned si fans of Ivy Laxina. Kapampangan din to si Cherry Munag. Oh, nice dig. Rufilia, so efficient. Look at that angle. <laughs> Just a cut shot there. Eva giving Choco Mucho a three-point lead at this first technical timeout.
and the back and forth between F2 Logistics, their fans, so glad to be back. And Choco Mucho, if you want to win. And the energy. Yep. And they know that the players draw a lot from these fans. Don't you love the atmosphere? It's like, always encourage people to come try to watch the games live. And this is only our third day. Yeah. Okay? And it feels like a, the, the finals. Yeah, it does, pretty much. <laughs> And uh, we look forward to a lot more great matchups. We were talking earlier about how we feel. All of the teams are just uh, so evenly matched. The, the, the talent just spread out so well. And also the... Oh! <laughs> okay, that ball, four hits, Sabini. Ref Bellardo. Bellardo. Wow. And the crowd, look at that, it's right there. Get into it. One, two, two. Again, football action. Yeah, well, you counted with us. Yeah. Balls with Choco Mucho. Fajardo setting up. Salter. Salter liking the set that Fajardo is giving. And again, we, we have to remember this was the, the rotation that got them going with Jim Ferrer in front and stalls her at the yeah. hitting end. So now, Coach Oliver, the quandary. I mean, yeah. do I keep Jem Ferrer in? Do I bring in yeah. Dina Wong? Yeah. Yeah. See. But you know, see, Stalter, she doesn't really, she makes do. I mean, we know that when she gets the, the sets from the back row, she also manages. Yeah. And again, she's pushing the oh. ball, but BDL is on to her. Yes. Yeah, the Leon says, I know what you're up to. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to drop the ball and you see the taller blocker, BDL said, I have hand time too, you know? <laughs> I, got, I got this. <laughs> and that's a three point lead now for Choco Mucho. This is just the third set. F2 and Choco Mucho splitting the first two, and that one is out the side. So they were waiting for this rotation. Great adjustment by Choco Mucho. And they were, there were three, three blockers already manning and go, guarding Stalzo. <laughs> Jem Ferreira ready with a service ace. And a quick, Ivy Latina there is blocked. The ball is still good. Salter will time it, just sends it over quickly. Fajardo pushing it to Salter again. Alieva. We'll go up for the hit and a big and she just knows exactly when to do it. <laughs> you know that that big that tip? Yeah. It just brought so much frustration to F2. Look at their shoulders, really just you know? Yeah. And you just don't know what she's up to. We're looking at the, from the sides here, we're looking at Fajardo shaking off her left ankle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they've been at it a long time. And see, Fajardo hindi pa umuupo. She's been playing all game. It looks like she'll be okay. Drugs it off. And, you know, she's been through worse injuries for her. An ankle injury is nothing. We also know that Lydis Tolinada is waiting in the wings, who's also a very dependable setter and national team player. So there's that. We have a timeout, man. Recover, recover. Like, it's here on top of everybody, yeah? Hey, everyone, we have to pull together right now, yeah? Help each other out. That was, that was Iris Tolinada we were talking about her, and that was her voice, just reminding uh, her teammates to help each other out. And that was a needed, much needed timeout with uh, F2 down now by five points. And she is on the court just as uh, we were talking about it. Iris Tolinada now taking the 
set her role for F2. Yeah, and you like what she said, we gotta pull together because that's what they did in the second set and they won that second set. Stocks oh. are still hot, but she is dug by Cheng. Oh! Great read there by Den Lazaro Revilla. Valentino timing it. Stocks will go up. Good dig. Dug. Oh, the Aliyama. Wow, what a rally. Still alive. Oh. <laughs> we see Gary Bowser trying desperately to keep the ball in play. Some football action. That time was a no go. And great effort on both sides here. That, you know, that was really just a smart tip by Catalentino. <laughs> Wasn't the perfect of sets, but you gotta love the way Kale Mao uses every yeah. part of her body to try to, to retrieve that ball. You know, she was asked what other sport she'd want to play besides volleyball. And she, she didn't say football, she said wrestling. <laughs> so you were talking about Kale Mao <laughs> yes. earlier. <laughs> yes, she wants to be a wrestler too. Why not, you know? With her attitude, she will be successful at any field that she goes to. Meantime, Alieva. With 18 points already. As we take a look at Jem Ferrer here, she has been feeding Aliyeva a lot of good sets. Oh. 14-7. That's a big gap. Seven points. Jogo Mucho is enjoying. Yeah. Seven point lead here. Hitting error. She nice stalls her. Nice decoy there for Ivy Laxina. And Bantay na Bantay ni Ivy. Great effort there. Solo block and a point for F2. And that's right. It has to come from everyone. Yeah. Everybody has to contribute. Well, that was one on one. And the rookie showing Bea de Leon. I got you. <laughs> and here's Iris Tolenada. That's her first serve. So she has to shake it off. She's coming in late to do this match, seeing action for the first time today. Yeah, the toss was actually really low. And if you're just joining us, it was skipping hard on playing all game until she started to uh, complain seemingly about a painful left ankle. Ooh. Ah, perfect execution there. Bea de Leon knows it. What a set. Yeah. What a play. of Joko Mucho on second technical timeout. We'll be back for more after the break. And we asked you this question, which cargo mover of Flight Titan will break up this conference? Hashtag PVL Reinforced 2022. And this is what you said. I think Ivy Laxina of F2 Logistics will break out this conference. With Kim Fajardo setting, I think Ivy can really be the middle block that we watch out for. And Teddy Salazar, Teddy Kim, I think it's Des Cheng. Great answers and keep tweeting us and let's see if more of your tweets make it to our coverage today. One more at Glamazon is either Kale Mao or Lindsay Stalzer, she says. Mm -hmm. oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Uh, nila, IV and best check, of course. But it's been a Bay at the Leon show. It has fast been. Couple of, fast couple of sequences, BDL. Wow. It has Monster been. Block. Look at the reaction. All alone. <laughs> all alone. <laughs> and you know it when, when BDL is on. You she, know it. You can feel it. She's on. She's on. <laughs> Oh. And we have a. Uh, there's a rotation. Yeah, there is a rotation fault. I, like, I was looking at Jim Ferrer, yeah. and then he looked. She looked at Coach Oliver and said sorry, and then she made a facial expression, walking to the proper place. <laughs> Guilty as Baka, charged. Baka sakaling hindi mahal na. <laughs> and that's a break for F2 Logistics down already by seven points as Ivy Latina serves. Oh, and ball is still alive. F2 will set up, and that one is good enough. Yeah. Barano with a point. Alexis Tinsai has a report for us. Go, Alexis. Kath Bahard of the F2 Cargo Movers will still manage to play as she is experiencing minor pain from a minor sprain and is hoping to be relieved within the next couple of minutes. Kath's ankle was iced and taped by their physical therapist and is advised to stretch her foot for movement to keep the circulation flowing. Amazed by the fighting spirit of Kath, let's go back to set three. Thanks so much, Alexis, and it is good to see Kim Hard on her feet. We're hoping it's just a, uh, a minor sprain indeed. Meantime, Iris Tolanada is uh, in the center position here. 12 17 the count, F2 down by five. We have a timeout. <laughs> We have to Well, you know, Coach O wants this. I mean, you listen to him, the urgency in his voice, all with a five point lead already. <laughs> Lamang sila ng lima, pero ganun talaga. He really wants this. He's asking for uh, some combination plays. I think things that they work on during the, their past training want to see happen on the court. Yeah, and you know how much respect also Coach Oliver has for F2 Logistics, you know? They may be ahead by five, but if you give them the opportunity to come back in this set, they're going to grab it. And we have Rina Wong coming back on the court now. Setter Catolentino is waiting to serve. Kat having a good day today as well. Yeah, actually, even Jem Ferrer is playing well. A lot of the Chocomocha Flying Titans playing well. Nine points so far for Catolentino. Napasa yung laglag ni Ina Wong. And oh. good one. Wow, look at that. Diana D coming together with Abi Marano. You know, it's hard to block a back row hit, a pipe attack like that, but the timing was just impeccable. Yeah, she read that through and through. And we did say we did say earlier that Kim Gana, these block points has, will definitely actually increase in today's game. Oh, that one worked, but ball still alive. Good save. Let's see who Dina Wong goes from behind the attack line. That time, Catolentino. Wow! wow. We missed that. <laughs> yeah, we missed. That's what we want to see if you're a fan of F2. Kali Mao just putting it away. Yeah, and finding that small gap between the blockers. <laughs> Five so far for Le Mao. Meantime, 21 points already from Stolzer. Wow. Cheng is blocked. Ball's recycled. Cheng will go again. Oh, she was trying to go. I, we knew what she wanted to do. She saw that little, uh, little area there with nobody. But it's the execution. Yes, Cheng there with an error on the attack. Scores 15. 
18 F2 gaining on Choco Mucho and we have a time out. You understand? Now, now, now! Pag nasa atin yung bola, you have to ask lahat magsalita. You fall. Okay, now, hindi pa yan, may advantage pa tayo dyan eh. Okay? Tapos ako yung dito, iiwala yung contest, yan ang kaludin na dito. Kapag kaya na yung isip, huwag ay tingin ko sa kanya. Kasi hindi siya ready. Okay, now lang pag may play play, tsaka maging ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Time to panic. I mean, now we understand <laughs> why Coach O is uh, talking the way he does. That was the seventh run that we've seen in favor of F3 so far. And we saw a seven point lead earlier, and now it's down to three. Choco Mucho Medyo Napaho. And meantime, Kiana B is doing what she does here at the serve and at the block. You're talking about how uh, KKD is yeah. so dependable. Look at that. Block. Eight, eight points for Kiana D. She still has it. My Dorothy is coming in here. And we know, just like with Abby Maragno, it's that running attack that Micah has down fast. You know, I think that's a great play designed by Coach Oliver. Really, that's why he put my Dorothy in. This F2 never saw it coming, yeah. right? Never saw it coming. So she had really an open space to, to go down the course. Great delivery there by Dina Wong also with that set. And this is going to be a, should be an easy one. Catalentino with a nice first ball. Alieva going up. F2. And that's <laughs> off the block. Good and he's scoring again. Good read. She's like she played dodgeball yeah. there. Six points for Kalemao. The beast awakened. <laughs> Six is good numbers for anybody, but if you're Kale Mao, we expect more. And let's see if she will be able to just get points in a row here. But Alieva just continuously delivering for her team. 19 points now. Uh, sorry, Miss Q there at the side of Neptun Logistics. That ball was playable. It was so playable. Look at this. Mucho. Four point feed. It's one set of piece. Great serve. Stop serve. Oh. Good save there by Dina Wong. Keeping the ball in play there. Catalentino is dug. And from behind the attack. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the body language there. He was looking at the Alieva. Parang masakit yun kasi ang lakas na dating yung balo ni Kalema. Pero blinak mo siya. She's still holding on to her arm. <laughs> That's how strong we, the ball came in. Actually, didn't even get past the net. Right. It hit, it hit her, arm, her lower arm. Time out this time by F2. Stay focused right here. Hey, F2! She would be a bad wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you're right, you know, she's showing some talent in yeah. uh, using her, her yep. legs, her yep. feet, what have you. Like Ortiz, another nice serve, but great reception there also. And the old Choco Mucho is calling for that ball. Definitely outside. Point is given to Choco Mucho. No, you know what's happening right now with F2. They're on course errors and the ones, you know, giving these points to Chocobucho. Chocobucho able to maintain four-point lead, five-point lead, now six-point lead. Now it's six. Yeah, back set. 
And I you want it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at Jeff Abbey. It's Jeff Abbey going against Athena. <laughs> One more time on that. And look at look oh. at the reaction. Yeah. Look at Alieva. Oh, you can see oh. it there. You can see it there. No, we want to see Abby. Look at that. <laughs> she knew it. No, so you get one hand set, uh, one hand block on me. Sorry, Abby. Correct. But Alieva stared at her for a good like ten seconds. <laughs> and so Alieva gets back the another way, just with that cross court kill. She is hot. She is hot. Yeah. Serve now. Good serve. Bonanada with an underhand set. Ooh, another great dig there by Revilla. Great perception. The good digs on both sides. And you have off the blocks. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Laxino puts it away. They needed that. They yeah. needed that from Ivy Laxina. Absolutely. Got a credit Casila also there with the Defense, yeah. great for defense by Casilag, allowing that play to happen. <laughs> Look at her reaction, she wanted that. Things are getting heated in the field sports today. Oh! Oh, two service errors already for Iris Tolenada. Giving Choco Mucho many, many attempts at the set point here. This is a comfortable lead for Choco Mucho in this third set. They want that one set lead. They're all tied at one set apiece. Yeah, just too many errors for F to logistics in this latter part of the third set. And that's the second point now for Ivy Latina. Just in time. Well, they'll need more of that. Yeah. More of that. A lot more they have to make up. Still set point for Choco Mucho. Let's see if they can end it here. Jump serve. Nice first ball. Back set. Valentino oh. is dug. Where does Dina Wong go? Again to Kat. She goes soft. Kat going up. One more. Oh. Dina with the cover. Off system there. Cheng makes do. Aragalang there with a great save. And now oh. it's all inside. <laughs> they clip the line. It's still inside. And F2 Logistics refuses to roll over and die here. <laughs> Look at that cut shot right now. Yeah. Clear. Ayopa, Ayopa. <laughs> it was in. Let's see if F2 can do that four more times. <laughs> Still set point for F2 here. Staltzer continues to serve. <laughs> Coach Oliver was showing that Casilag was in the not the right position. And <laughs> Casilag realized that she moved. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Oh, quick. Oh, uh, that one worked. The Leon again winning it. For this set, let's see. 25 20. There's some uh, <laughs> questions on the call, but it looks like this is in the back for Choco Mucho. It is after a bit of heat, like you said, a bit of drama. Yeah. It really just adds spikes to this game. And look at those fans roar. They love their Titans. And Choco Mucho up now two sets to one. And we are going for set number four after the break. in favor of Choco Mucho. Exciting back and forth. Great sequences we saw in that third set. But BBL, man. 
<laughs> she is on today, like we said, but she is on, she is on, and uh, she put the nail on the coffin for uh, Chocomocha in that place. So. Well, if she is on, she is infectious, we have to say, but Chocomocha pretty much had control over that set. It looked like the Chocomocha that played in the first set, uh -oh. really very deliberate, everybody contributing, great setting by Jem Ferrer and even Dina Wong when called to action. Alieva, for me, was the calming factor. Was really the calming factor. Yeah. Let's look at the numbers in terms of attacks. F2 by one. Blocking was <laughs> blocking is even. Ace yeah. is none. But look now at let's the, go to the errors. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> talk about the errors. Yeah. We were mentioning too many errors, especially towards the latter part of that set. Nine as compared to three. When we talked about the errors in the first and the second set, pretty decent. No, five and six, and then two and two. Then you have nine errors. That really pretty much, pretty much gave away that set yeah. to Choco Mucho, who's playing good. Yeah. So you yeah. don't want to give three points. Right. A lot of things happened in the, on the side of the girls in yellow, of course. Kim Pajardo was taken out because of the problem she had with her ankle. Aristolinata stepping in, was uh, try, trying to get her, her uh, rhythm going too. But two service errors already by Iris and uh, among the other errors that we've seen on the side of F2, but uh, they still are just down by a set. This is a time for them to just regroup mm -hmm. and just come alive because they've got Lindsay Stolzer on their side, who's already uh, scored 21 today. And as we said, nagising naren si Lei Mao. She already has seven. She scored four points in that last set, so she has seven already. Abby Marano also entertaining <laughs> the crowd here today with her antics and her uh, very dependable running attack. Classic Abby Marano for you. Yeah. Of course, you mentioned BBL, the damage that she has caused. And really, did uh, Catalentino also a factor today? And Jeff Ferrer and Dina Wong just sharing the credit mm -hmm. uh, for setting well and just uh, giving uh, good minutes and making uh, do of their time on the court. Well, Iris Talanada is starting, so I think Kim Pardo, although she's jumping up and down there at the warm-up area, they chose to use uh, Iris Talanada, which I think is a good uh, good decision for Coach Benson because, you know, the attitude of the attitude of uh, Iris Talanada trying to pump her teammates yeah. up. Yeah. you got to start out strong here because your focus is to win this set and bring this to a fifth. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're, we're talking about a national team player here, so nothing to sneeze at. There, Tolinada, nice up by Jem Ferrer, but she is... Oh, no! That one was doomed from the start with Jem Ferrer taking that first ball. And some confusion with Deschek and Denise Lazaro, Revilla there at the back. It happens, might as well happen this early for Choco Pucho if it's going to happen. Actually, I got confused, <laughs> you got that touch, and then... And I thought it was Death Cheng who got the touch and then she asked for it again, so I was kind of confused. But yeah, it's good for Choco Mucho that it happened, like you said early on. This is a must-win set. And again, a rotation uh, here, rotation error on the side of Choco Mucho. Captain Bea de Leon trying to... Yeah, she's saying, okay. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay, kill <laughs> Um, these lapses might as well happen early, like we said. <laughs> you don't want this to happen pag mainit na yung labanan. Yeah. And also on the side of Choco Mucho, you don't want to let your guard down. For sure. Yeah. For yeah. sure. And Alieva is dug by Lei Mao. Oh, that's moving. Alieva. <laughs> that one is outside. And some errors coming from the side. Of Choco Mucho here, all the forced yeah. so far. Just their errors giving F2 their uh, points. These three points have not been earned yet by F2. You can feel, no, with that running hit by Alieva, a lot of emotions no. went with that, you yeah. know, because of that little, you know, little drama with Abi Marani. Actually, take it back, you know, F2, it's the defense of F2 that's working. Let's see now if they can get a point of play. Good defense by Jeff Ferrer. Alieva going up. Lay Mao there. Tolenada. Quick to oh. Marano. What a dig there what by Deschek. Oh, this might be outside. Nope. Playable. Oh! <laughs> Is that how you want to score? Well, the thing is, F Logistics getting points early here in so many unusual ways. Off the errors of 
Joko Mucho, these uh, easy overs that are unchallenged. One more time on that. That's the easiest point f is going to ever get. <laughs> like we said, you know, F2 can, uh, uh, Choco Mucho rather cannot let their guard down. We have a time out. Girls, we have to play it right. We have to do it right. We have to finish it right. You understand? Work a little your aggressiveness and keep on talking, okay? Come on! Let's fight each other! Let's go! It didn't take much to figure that out. Definitely, Coach O gave the right reminders, the correct reminders to Choco Mucho. Well, a lot of errors here to start the, the fourth set. You know, for Choco Mucho, they want to end this in four, and they're giving way too many errors. After Latino will go up. Harvey Latina, nice dig there. Nini put in a cut, but Des Cheng will get it from behind the attack like the Lenada. Putting it up. Casila is blocked, but oh, still good. But see, not enough. <laughs> well, Lenada just fighting to keep the ball to play, and Choco Mucho finally on the scoreboard here in the fourth set. <laughs> good effort, though, by F2. They just laugh it off. Yeah. You know, the uh, ball ref went right back down on Casilak's back, <laughs> which just counts for one touch. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what an effort by Aristolinada just diving for yeah, that. Absolutely. Nice set. Mao likes it, but Avina was there with the defense. Oh! Sanyon, Maranyon, if she left that one untouched, that would have been a Aragala's ball. She was in the right position. So error is happening on both sides of the court now. As I most will always say, if it's already beyond you as a blocker, let it go. Let it go. Trust your coverage. Vestiges of uh, Abby Marano, the libero. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to get the ball. Exactly. <laughs> quick right. Oh, wow, perfect. Look at that. Look at Abby Marano. She knows it. <laughs> she does it like nobody can. Jack Abby there. With that. Running it back. 5 2 now to score. Alexis Tinsai has a report for us. Go, Alexis. Coach O, during the huddle, is reminding the girls to savor and not take advantage of the momentum that was granted upon them. Coach O advised Jim Ferrer, na kumumbinasyon pero wag madaliin para nasa kanila ang tau tunay na daloy ng bola. Another thing he reminds the Titans is to remember the timings of their blockings in order to combat the wing spikers of the F2 cargo removers. Let's remember for this crucial set, there is no room for error. Let's see how they can bounce back and fix their composure this set four. Thanks so much, Alexis. Indeed, we'll see if Chokomucho can get the uh, things together again. And Isa Molde finally on the court. She tried to, that substitution. <laughs> Coach O tried that earlier. Not technical somehow or hindi na payagan. And Alieva with a kill. You know, after that running attack of Abby Manan, actually it was Aliego who had a hand in that ball but couldn't keep it up. I saw her reaction, uh, like she said something, you know, out of the table. Normally, it looks as if every time something happens when she's taunted, uh, that's when she responds, uh, right? That's when she responds. So, kailangan pala pagka, ayun, kailangan niya ng ano. She had to nudge her, huh? <laughs> Not nudge, but she had to challenge, or challenge her. <laughs> but I feel that that's also that works for Kale Mao. 7-3. F2 Logistics needing to win this fourth set. They want to stretch it to a fifth. Both teams wanting that first win in this reinforced conference. Both coming from straight set losses on their first days. Ball there. That's the ball. Let's see if Ferrer goes to her. Oh. Again, good read there by Aragala. Molde! What an entrance for Isa Molde all alone. Solo block scoring for Choco Mucho one more time on that. What a substitution. You yeah. gotta give it to the coach Oliver. Isa Molde is actually not really known for her blocking. Mm -hmm. I mean, she is a decent lover. You know, when you talk about blockers, she won't be tough, my butt. 
What a read. One on one on Abby Marano. Salanada pushing it out to Stalzer. And Revilla with a great uh, up there. They now timing it. And that one is outside. And very uh, not, not typical of Play Mao. That should have been a safely inside a playable ball. She just, she, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. You're, you're signaling a <laughs> wrong wrist action. Yeah. Well, like taola, taola. <laughs> like she wanted to put it at a certain part of the court, uh -oh. which is between zone one and two, and you know. That's so mobra lang. Yeah. And Alieva keeps the ball in play. She's been doing really well also on defense. Stouts are sending it over. Molde. Bring it up. Alieva! Ooh. Approach, but Aragala with an even better pickup. Alieva working hard. From both sides working yeah. hard. Ah. ah, we know what Abby wanted to do. She was looking for that hole in the back row. Medyo, pero medyo. Paputok, no? Medyo palobo yung ganyang palo. That's okay. It's all right. We got this. We got this. F Logistics still in the lead, but just by a point. Yeah, just yeah. a one-point game. Yeah. And ball is back on Chocomucho's side. And the timeout. are delivering for their team, so it's all about how the rest of the players are going to show up for their respective squads. Yeah, the local contribution. Yes. But I, I sense, you can sense here, really here in the fourth set, a lot of errors from both teams. You know, that's why no, no one team can actually pull away. And again, smart play by Isa Paul, they're just manning her station there really well. <laughs> yeah. Isa Paul there. We know her to be a smart player. Be superstar there, and you know she's not the tallest of players either. Lisa Bond is five six. Five six? Oh. That, yeah, that's what their stats show. Oh. And this girl has the height and the star power, and she knows her. She knows that a lot is on her shoulders, and she delivers every time. Eight seven. The count. F two up by one. We'll be back after the break. Logistics with only a one-point lead after this first technical timeout of those fans. They want to see a win for their squad. First, it has to be a win in this set so they can stretch it to a fifth decider. Let's see if Lindsay Stalter can keep it up. She has been strong. She has been very uh, dependable and reliable. That's what really we really expect from these guest players, both Stalter and Aliyeva already in double digits. Yeah, scoring 22. Yeah. Leading the charge of the team. Oh, what a thing. Yeah. Just Den Lazarus. Exactly where she needs to be at all times. Dolanada pushing the ball over. Joust won by Cherry Nunag there. Ferrer trying a trick shot. 
<laughs> Sky ball. See what she does now. Giving it to Molde. And Molde going deep with that down the line. <laughs> yeah. And look at the reaction of Coach Oliver. Yeah. Fist pump and all because he knew he made the right decision of bringing in Isa Molde. That's the nick of time. Eight apiece. Chokubuchi wants to end it already. Mean that F2 fighting for another chance here. They need to win this fourth set. Nice first ball. Luna is blocked by Ivy Luxina. There's a call. Double hit. You know, that matchup between Luna and Luxina, we will see throughout the years, really. Just a preview, huh? Yeah. They go one on one, but I'm at mga one on one. <laughs> Let's see if Tyrus Talonada has more luck at the service area now. Yeah, she needs to serve well. Uh, and we've seen her with her service aces. Uh, safe one. We have her with a nice reception, and she goes up for the hit. That one is outside. <laughs> Their touch, no touch. No, she didn't even ask for it, Dr. Yeah, yeah. She knew, no? It was a uh, wide. Yeah. And was, you know that Iris Salonata is probably targeting Aliyah, but trying to get her out of the, the play if she gets the first ball. But Revilla with it. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> look, at, look at that. Then saying uh, that wasn't the best first pass, but Jeffrey said, nice setup. <laughs> And she puts it away. One more time on that. Ayo, tinaiding na lang ni Jem Ferrer. You're right. I mean, not the tallest of setters, but we know Jem Ferrer. Yeah. Uh, once upon a time, the setter. Oh, yeah, we love watching her in the UAE pitch. <laughs> Cherry Luna. She's had quite a game today, too. Stalls her timing oh. it. And she knows how to put it away. Going just a little bit short angle cut shot. And if you're F2, you like that because if Lindsay Stalzer starts scoring, that's remember in that second set, that's when good things happen. Yeah. yeah. Because in the third set, Choco Mucho is able to like, you know, put a stop or stop Lindsay Stalzer. And that's off the block, just pushing it off the hands of Casilla there, <laughs> using her power. Alieva scoring. That's pure passion <laughs> for you, determination, really. Jennifer gets a score here. It's 10 serving 11. Jennifer for the serve. Well, back set. Casilla oh. is dug by Ben Lazaro Revilla. Just plays get started when you have with this great first balls fed by your Alibero, like then then Lazaro Revilla. That's how you get the great plays to happen. And that's when it means the most, oh. really, when you know you get a good dig and then you get the kill. Ooh. How about that save there at the back by Aragala? Push. Isabel is there. Eva will time it. Oh. And she gets it through the two-man block still. Kaita no pay the game ball, Carolina Lieva. Gagawan ng gagawan ng parahan. Well, she is known to adjust to any type of set that is given to her. But in that time, you can see the blockers not squared up. Yeah. They're yeah. not squared up for that. They were there, but you saw their arms are far from each other. Mm -hmm. Chokomucha now leading by one. And that wind up from inside. Lions judges say it's a point for F2. Well, you know, that's not the strongest of it. It kind of looked like a miss hit, but they'll take it. Yeah. It landed in the line. Boy, 22 accident digs for then the Revilla. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's, wow. <laughs> that is how to play libero. Nice first ball there. And again, it's the magic. That starts with Den and Revilla's perfect pass. Oh, what a set by Jim Ferrer. Look at that. The blockers were kind of not there. <laughs> Slow to react. Oh. 
Great play there as Valentino completing it. Outside set. Ow! Oh, wow. Look at that. Ferrer still getting a handle on yeah. that. But on Lakase. No, but you know, in the middle, uh, the people by the net in uh, San Valentino and Bea de Leon were just, you know, fast enough to turn around. They'd get that. As you can see the expression of Salter there being wowed by her teammate, Lei Mao. And we have to see more of that uh, from Kalei Mao. Finally, yeah. in double digits here, scoring 10 points. But And F2 needs to see that, see it now. Let's see where Tolenada goes. Tries to outsmart F. Uh, Chocomucho, that one is outside. And Chocomucho insisting on check ball there. Did you see a touch? But they're calling. I think they're questioning the in and out. Like they're, they're asking out. for a check ball. A uh, check ball, okay. Well, we know at this point of the game, neither team is going to just give up. We're tied at 13. But Chocomucho up by one set. So they are in a more comfortable position here. Meantime, F2 Logistics really just applauding that point given to them. Well, you're right. It's a much needed point. Yeah, yeah. We're we're fighting F2. for every point. Asila getting ready to serve here. Oh! Aha! And that's what you want to see from F2. Easy conversion, easy point. This time on a service ace. The first one. Yeah, when we talk about good substitution on the side of Chocomucha, what about for M2 Logistics coach Benson Bokbok bringing in Elaine Casilla? She's been defending well, and I won't say anything first. <laughs> I won't say anything first. 15 13 the count. She's been serving well. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that. Colonel Stir, the center, with that offensive block for point number 16 for F2 and the three-point lead at the second technical timeout. Logistics fighting to stay alive here. They have a three-point advantage over Chocomucho midway through this fourth set. A must-win situation for the cargo movers. These girls in red are red hot. <laughs> I think things are happening for them now. And you're right, the Chocomuchos are coming the right way. That last um, point we saw from Tolenada, who stepped in as setter after Kim Fajardo was needed to rest because of her ankle. Yeah. And Tolenada will set up Kalemao, who we know wants to go deep, but that's a little too deep. Well, they have to be cautious talking about F2 Logistics, yeah. about these errors. Remember, you know, that's the trend, the, the ones that commits the errors, you know, the obviously momentum yeah. will once again change jerseys here. down by two. This fourth set mostly dominated by F2. And if you're Chocomucho, you want to end it now. Yeah. You don't want to go for set five. But the fans want the set five. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm sure all of you are home. I'm just enjoying the action here. Nakatapos na siguro kayo ng inyong hapunan. It's great to watch this uh, uh, as a nightcap. For those of you who are but the ones who are now are in traffic. There's a lot of traffic because of the rains. And joining us late here. I'm glad you're on hand. And we are 
enjoying the back and forth great volleyball we're seeing here in the Reinforced Conference. Chocomucho just gaining on F2 Logistics here. And Nina Wong is coming back in as center. And I don't know. That's uh, John John Haboneta. You know, the the better half or worse half of Isa <laughs> Always also, you know, he always watches her games. Mm. Number one fan, I'd yeah. say. Of course. Oh, oh, what a save there by Urbina. Another quick one. Araño's blocked there. Stalls are going up. Oh, that's a goal. Puto. is a good blocker. It's just that mm -hmm. Rieva, like you said, just put just an, enough power yeah. to get it through. And the reaction after that. Yeah. <laughs> Saw that. Yeah. Just a one-point deficit for Choco Mucho. Oh. Alter, just putting it away. Just quietly performing her duties. 26 points already for Stolzer. Yeah, she needs to take over. Obviously, she's the more effective hitter on the side of F2 Logis Logistics right now. 18-16, still a two-point lead here for F2. Oh, that's going to work for Dina Wong. And that came from a so good first pass, and Dina Wong just made something out of nothing. 17-18, Choco Mucho. Just one point behind. F2 meantime, they have to get it together, keep it together. Whoa! Oh, wow. Oh. Lucky for them, it sailed out. That was going to be a hard one to stop. That was so sharp. Uh, Service error favoring F2 Logistics, a break that they need right about now. Aristolinata is back at the service line. Oh, look at her eyes. She's really so focused right now. And Yeva is dug by Abi Marano, but too close to the net. Good effort though. And they're looking for a call against Choco Mucho. Wanna, they, they're actually asking for an overreach from Mike Ortiz. Let's check it out. Oh, that ball didn't even get past the net. Mike Ortiz is already ready to serve here. Mike Ortiz, a new addition to the Chocomucho family, and she seems to be a lucky addition here. Another good substitution on the side of Coach Oliver. Outside at 19, and that's a needed timeout. Oh, I have to. Okay, just be ready. Just control the ball, the ball in the middle. Okay, in the center. Okay, so not, not, not too tight. Not too tight. Because the ball like this, we cannot do anything. It's too close to the net, we cannot do anything. Okay, okay. just control the ball. We got a battle to 25, baby. We got a nice We're good, we're good, huh? This is what great athletes are about. End game, guys, end game, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. Let's go, move on. Well, all is not lost yet, obviously, for F2. It's tied at 19, but they did squander a, a good lead. And they are needing to win this fourth set. Let's see. I don't know if feel that there's a little bit of tension on the side of F2. They're not quite as relaxed as we've seen them. Mean that Choco Mucho just slowly but surely creeping up against the cargo movers here. Let's see what the Lenada does. Look for Stalzer from the right side this time. And that works out. Stalzer coming in with the right bit. Yeah, and using the blockers to her advantage there, just hitting it off their hands. 
talaga pinahihirapan din ang Choco Mucho ang F2. Yeah. You, might, you may win this, but we're not gonna make it easy. And we're not out of it. Not at all. Oh, great effort by Isa Bo. The ball is still good. Tolenada pushing it to Lei Pao. Just ending that rally right away. That's what they're looking for and the F2 Logistics fan. So much power. Oh, yeah. 21 19. Timeout. Chocomucho. Again, again. Malaking bagay kasi yung na-touch eh. Pag na-touch yan, sa atin na yun. Huwag natin inetap. Okay? Again, huwag tayo magmadali. Nasa atin ang pasa. Sino na sa harap? Ikaw? Approach. Diyan mong mabuti. Naintindihan. Okay, first line ka pa. Meron tayong udina. Kailangan natin kumumbinasyon kung kailangan. Kailangan. Pero, hindi na may advantage ka dito, ha? Pero kailangan-kailangan makapasa na mabuti. Let's go. Stay together, girls. Say one, two, three. They really don't want to go for a game five. And if, if I were Choco Mucho, the way things are happening on the side of F2, you don't want to go to game five. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're on. The, the flow is happening. And Kalei Mao is on beast mode. And then she's hitting that way. Yeah. You're right. You don't want to go to a fifth set. But for F2, you're looking good right now. You got to serve well. And you got to minimize your errors. Remember what happened in the latter part of the third set. And this is a, a good rotation for F2 also with the tall girls in the front here. Good serve. Ayeva. And Ayeva knows that, I think. The ball is still good. Yeah. All right. Chocomucho regrouping. Ayeva gets Whoa! another chance. Great set. Great put away by Odina. Ayeva. The bloggers were there. Yeah. See that? Stretch hands there, but look at that handle. Look at that. She goes cross court with that cut shot. <laughs> you can read her lips there. She's that intense. <laughs> and Alieva just means business here. She does. No, and you know what's nice about Alieva compared to that previous game? Today she's more consistent. Uh -huh. More consistent. And she doesn't look. As tired as she did in her first game. Looking at her numbers, 26 points, just like the other game, but mm. also what she's been doing at the back row. Her defense has been so effective as well. And that one gets away from Ben Ben Revilla. point for F2 Logistics. Working so hard for their chance to uh, keep playing here, but Kale Mao looks like. She's finding her game yeah. late in this uh, matchup. Actually, she's feeling it right now, no? When you look at her follow through, more fluid. Eh, yun nakakatakot sa Choco Mucho kung tumagal pa to sa set five. Mm. Alieva going up, and she finds the back line of F2 scoring. Point number 21. Yeah, look at this. Titans. There. Safe serve there. Tolenada to Kalemao. Three straight for Lemao. She is literally oh. carrying it to logistics on her shoulders right now. Kalemao yeah. has awakened. 23-21, that's off of three straight points coming from Lei Mao. 14 already. Mostly in this fourth set. Oh, wow. Look at that. Lea de Leon. Whenever she gets a touch, she converts. Are you talking about beast mode? Yeah. You're talking about beast mode, are you? She hasn't been getting too many touches, but her efficiency, I think, look at the numbers she has. She's been converting every time she gets a chance. Yeah. And proud parents, of course. I would, I would be in every game too. <laughs> and but Chocomucho still a point behind. F2 
the logistics sheet, just getting closer to that 25 point mark. It's been this kind of fourth set. So much excitement. Mao! Oh, this oh. time she's got, nope, not good enough. Took a ball try, did not prevail. And it's just a smart hit, you know, people are actually guarding the down, the, the cross court because she has been successful. And she just, you know, took something off that, went down the line, and Dina Wong couldn't handle that. This is set point. This is where F2 wants to be. With Lei Mao even at the serve. And she has been delivering right when she needed to. Yeah, but Lindsay Stalls are in front. But if you're Choco Mucho, you gotta aim for some stops here and try to tie this. Jennifer are back as setter. Where does she go? Wow, good enough. That experience for you, Michael Ortiz. Very near, but she disguised it really well. Still set point though for F2. Let's see if Chocomucho can hold this. Cato Lentino at the serve. Oh, good Almost. Save. Almost an ace. A quick. This time it's caught by F2. Oh, still alive. Great dig there. Medervilla. Colonada will push it out to Stolzer. Valentino with a nice cover. Isamonte going up oh! and down. <laughs> Another set point save. Thing. Nothing. Nothing that Coach Oliver can do here. You know, that was a smart switch. Jennifer there is manning the opposite. So you have two tall blockers manning so there, there's always a hand at that. Just Coach Oliver can't ask for more from his girls at this point. Oh, and there's a call. Somebody is at the net. Who is it? Somebody is at the net. And they're saying it's F2. It's Iris Tomenada. He called for a net violation. Let's take a look at that one more time. Just might close this out after three chances oh, at set point for F2. Stolzer, will she come through? Oh! And the crowd goes wild. What a block. What a set. What a win for Choco Mucho coming from behind in this fourth set. I've got to respect that effort. in their respective teams, but Chocomucho is getting their first W today, and the fans are happy. F2 in the meantime drops to 0 and 2, but it's early in the conference, and if this is the kind of volleyball that we're going to see from here on, then we're so happy that F2 <laughs> is back in the league. And we wanted actually five sets, to be honest. <laughs> we wanted a five-setter today. I mean, the level of volleyball really was just way up there. Look at that. Look at those numbers. 26 excellent digs for Ben Bedrovia. She was a game-changer here for Choco Mucho. Hindi naman mangyayari yung maganda offensive space kung hindi maganda yung defensa. And really, 
and then Laza Ravi that deserves the, uh, the yeah. accolades here, player yeah. of the game today. But, you know, notable uh, contributions, Jem Ferrer played really well, but you're right, without great digging, great pass. You know, I mean, she really helped Jem Ferrer also set. And Alieva, you said 27 points, come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming off that loss, she just found her groove here and a lot of drama. But they still yeah, and a lot did. of effort from the non-scoring part of uh, things. Just yeah. uh, as, as, as a defender, she had great digs and the numbers here, Marine. Yeah, they really converted, you know, the towards the latter part. They were just all hard, talking about Chocomucho. They wanted to win that fourth set, 18 to 14, in terms of attacks. Blocks, crucial blocks. Yeah. Really, three to two. Opponents here, they committed more, but really it was that latter part, that end game in the fourth set, it was all hard. We have to give it to Chocobucho. And great coaching. We have to give it coach all the great substitutions yeah. and all the players that come off the bench really contribute. And we have a lot more great volleyball coming up here also at, uh, at the Phil Sports Arena. Kari going up against the Army Lady Troopers at 2.30 and Signal meeting Cherry Tigo for the first time at 5.30 p.m. That's on Saturday here at the Phil Sports. We're so glad you joined us today on behalf of Noreen Go, Alexis Tinsai, and all the men and women of Signal Sports. This has been Chiki Rookuno. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you for more action here at the PBL Reinforced Conference.